Hello everyone out there in YouTube land and welcome back to my channel for yet another Halloween haul. So I went to a new Dollar Tree. It may not be new, but it was new to me. And I had originally, I was set out to go to Kmart and there was this Dollar Tree by this Kmart that I never go to and that's why I didn't know the Dollar Tree was there. Can you see my eyeball there? Right there from Dollar Tree. Almost passed out trying to inflate that thing. Okay, so... I, uh, I picked up some stuff at this Dollar Tree that I had not seen before at any other previous Dollar Tree and I haven't even seen it in other Dollar Tree hauls by other YouTubers so I'm thinking these might be uh, a little bit more unique and that's why I'm choosing to film them separately instead of filming them as part of my regular vlog because I know a lot of people don't watch my vlog and you should definitely go watch it because they are awesome. Okay, so let me show you what I got. So the first thing that I picked up were these um, I don't know what you would call them. They, it just, it's marked, it's marked decor. They don't even know what to call them. So it's this like, um, garland kind of, uh, made out of, does that make sense? A garland made out of ghost, a ghost made out of garland. That's what I should be saying, be saying a ghost made out of like this garland. And it doesn't have anything to hang him up with. It just it's just props up like this. So, and Malcolm is looking at this because he he wants to eat it. You can definitely see that he's Malcolm is my dog. For those of you who don't follow my channel, then I also got this one which I have on my door. I don't remember if I bought it in Dollar Tree last year. I don't remember where I got it, but wherever I did buy it, it did have something to hang. So I I hung it on my doorknob. But I thought this is also marked decor. Um, and I thought this was really cute. Then, and th so it's like tassel, not tassels, it's garland here. And then these are like made out of felt. Okay, then the next one that I got, which I thought was really super cute, is this cat. Isn't he cute? Look at his eyeballs. Are they the ones that move around? Yeah, they're the ones that you shake them up and they move around. So it's this cat with his back arched, so he looks like he's scared. Oh, look, the tail. You can bend the tail how you want it. So I thought this was really cute. Then the next one that I got, the last one in the set, is this little witch's hat, which, could I wear that on my head? I don't know. How does that look? Does that just scream Halloween? Ooh. Now you know I'm going to be trying this on Malcolm. And he'll try to pull it off his head and eat it. Anyway, yeah, so I got this, which I thought was really nice. And then I also picked up these socks, which they're not really Halloween, but they're just, like, festive. So, yeah, I got these. And then I picked up these little solar statue things. Now, if you watched my previous haul, you know that I picked up a set of these solar figurines. Um, they come in the witch... Um, the skeleton and the bat, <clears throat> uh, but they had these different ones that were even nicer than these at this Dollar Tree, and I got all three of them. So here they are, and they are like this little solar power doodads. So this says Solar Dancing Pumpkin. Any cute? And I'm sure when he's out by the sun, by the window, he will wobble his little head back and forth. So, and these were like the dollar deal of the day. And my mother was asking me, well, if they're the deal of the day, shouldn't they be priced less? No, they're still a dollar, even though they're the deal of the day. I got this black cat on a pumpkin, which I thought was very cute. And this says solar cat with pumpkin. And then the last one that I got was where the skeleton was the skeleton figure and it says solar skull heads so those were the three in the set i have to say i mean i'm, I'm not that nuts about the, the skulls i think if i had to pick a favorite i don't know i'm it's a toss-up between these two they're both so cute i don't know i'm maybe the pumpkin man because he's really happy then i got Oh, so you guys know that I, well, you may not know, 
um, that my favorite Halloween candy is um, Mary Jane's. They're these like peanut butter taffy type candies and they're hard to find. They're a really old type of candy. They used to be like penny candies back in the olden times and sometimes you're able to find them here and there but they're pretty hard to find in the stores. At least I found that to be. So the Mary Jane Company, in addition to making Mary Janes, and I'm sure a bunch of other candies, they also make peanut butter kisses. Now, when I was at this particular Dollar Tree, they didn't have the Mary Jane brand of peanut butter kisses, but they did have this unknown to me brand of peanut butter kisses. And because I've had such a craving for Mary Janes and peanut butter kisses, which they are so great, they rip your teeth out, they're so chewy and bad for you. I picked up a bag, and this is by the Melster Candies Company. That I've never heard of, but I'm sure they're they're wonderful. So I picked up one bag of these for a dollar, and these have 2.5 grams of fat for four pieces, so it's not as horrible as I thought it was gonna be. So there's that. Then I wanted to show you a couple of other things that were left out of my previous hauls that I just picked up here and there. Um, so I picked up this sign from, I wanna say Rite Aid. And it says, beware, and it's got a pumpkin. It's made out of wood. So there's this. Then I got another sign at a different Rite Aid, which I thought was really, really adorable. And it's got little witchy hats on it. And it's hard to read the top part. They should have made it white. But it says, please park brooms at the door. But the please park part is in purple. It's hard to read. I don't know. They should have thought this out a little better. But anyway, still very cute. I picked up this spider elixir light up bottle. I believe this was also at Rite Aid. And it has this little button thing and you press it and it lights up. It doesn't stay lit up all the time. You have to, oh wait, maybe it does. No, it doesn't. You have to press the little button thing which is weird because it has an on off switch at the bottom oh wait it does stay on all the time yeah there we go or you could press the little button thing or you could shut it off and press the little button thing and it comes on so I got that and then my favorite favorite thing which I think is so cool and creepy is this sign here that lights up and it says Happy Halloween, your future looks scary. Isn't that cool? Look at that. I wish it was like the size of the wall. Like this would be so amazing if this was like 24 by 36. Can you imagine walking into a haunted house? I could totally see this in a haunted house. And this has the little clicker button. Let me see if it stays on if you press the thing on. Yes, it will stay on. Or you could press the little clicker button. If you press the clicker button while it's on, it gets brighter. But if you shut it off, it just lights up like that. It's like I'm doing Morse code here. I'm driving Malcolm crazy. And this I wanna say was like $5 marked down from 10. Everything in Rite Aid is 50% um, off in the Halloween section. So this was $5 and so was um, this thing. So I think that's everything that I wanted to show you for this particular haul. I think that's it. I mean, I said that last time until I discovered this new Dollar Tree and then I went a little bit berserk again. But I think that should be it because uh, I have no more room. No more room to put any more decorations. This has to be it. Um, yeah. Okay. So if you like this video, uh, remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And until next time, goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land.